Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Clay, and welcome to another episode of Miss Billions Classroom. Today, I am going to teach you how to create a drag and drop activity in Google Slide. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe this video. If you want to create a drag and drop activity in your Google slide and you want to share it in your Google Classroom, this one could help you. First, you need to find activity from your Google Drive. This is the one I want. I have to open it in a new window so that I can easily snip or take a screenshot of my worksheet. Yes, the first thing that you're going to do is take a snip or a screenshot of the activity. I'm using a MacBook, so I'm going to choose or to use Command Shift and number four. So this is the only thing I want. My screenshot automatically saves in my desktop. Now, in a Google slide, you might want to remove this one, okay? And then click background, choose image, and then you might want to drag the worksheet or the snip that you got earlier. And then click done. There you are. So this picture is now your background image. In this manner, the student will not able to change any of your um, text or picture or anything that you have in your worksheet. Next, I will change the title of my file, Water Cycle Sort Digital. Okay, and then I'm going to put a text box in the name so they can put their name in there so you will write type here okay and you might want to change the color of this one i usually change the color of this one so that the student can easily find the text where or the text box where they are going to put their names on. You might just want to copy this one and then paste it in here, date. There you are. The next thing that we're going to do is to make the drag or the text box that we are going to drag in this worksheet. I'm going to add a new slide in here. Okay, you might want to put an instruction in here. Water cycle. Okay, let's say drag the boxes below in the next slide. I'm going to move this up there. Okay, and then I'm going to create the boxes. I'm going to add shapes. Let's say this one. I want this one. Okay, I'm going to go right here. Hold up. I'm going to go right here so that it will fit on the boxes there. Okay, and then X, and then go right here. V, there you are. <clears throat> and then I will just remove the filter, transparent. And then you can edit text. You want it center and middle. Okay. So let's say evaporation, okay. Make it a little smaller, 12, there. 
Okay, and then you want to change um, the border a little thicker. There you are. And then copy, paste. Okay, let's say um, condensation. Okay, make it 11. And then paste again. Let's say um, accumulation. We just need to adjust. And then next is, let's say, precipitation. Okay. And then paste again. What, what did I miss? Surface runoff. Runoff. And then perspiration. There you are. So this one, the students can drag it to the next slide. Next, if you want to make your drag and drop in just one slide, I'm going to show you how. So you need a new slide. Okay, insert image. Okay. And then from desktop. The second screenshot, okay, this is the one I want. There you are. And then you are just going to adjust a little bit. Okay. Oops. There. And then you, so you see here, I have empty uh, space in here. This is where I'm going to put those boxes with um, terms, okay? So, but I'm going to change this or download this first, this current slide to JPEG. Okay, there you are. Now I'm gonna make another slide, new slide. Okay, and then you might want to remove this one. Okay, and then um background choose image I, I will just drag this here okay there you are so this one is your background now this one is just an image so meaning the students can still move that so i don't want that anymore i will delete that where's the delete Ta -da. there i want this one because the students cannot move this one now I will put all this uh, instruction in here. So drop the boxes below. Okay, I will put um a text box or maybe shape. There you are, and then at edit text. Okay, try the next slide. I'll make it a little um, small, and then, mm -hmm. and then I will copy this one here. Oops. Okay. All right. Maybe I'll um, I'll make another shape. here okay i'll make it transparent in the border i'll make it thicker of it in here okay evaporation <clears throat> mm -hmm. and then do the same thing Okay, evaporation, condensation. Okay, 
So there you are. Let's say we are done. Okay. Let's say we are done. I'm done with everything. All right. Okay. So you are just going to choose which one do you prefer? This one that has um, um, the whole uh, slide as the background for the worksheet. And then you have another slide to drag or just one. So the students can like move their answer in the graphic organizer worksheet that you have prepared. So how are you going to share this in your Google Classroom? Okay. Type create assignment. I will type the title water cycle sort. And then you are just going to add from Google Drive. So there it should be in the um, recent file. So this one, water cycle um, digital. Okay, and then here you have to change this to make a copy for each student. So the students can make their own or can um, answer the worksheet with their names and that is their copy and then click assign there you are and we're done so that is how to create a drag and drop activity in google slides to share in your google classroom i hope it is helpful for you and you can use it again don't forget to like and subscribe my video thanks for your support god bless